Can you give us your assessment, John? Um, yeah, solid win. Um, good, I thought, really good, intense game in that first half. Uh, a lot of heat and uh, um, obviously to come out and run out the game in that second half um, was very, very pleasing. Did they, you got two, two and a half goals clear in the first, second and third quarters. They got back into the game again. Was that a case of your guys lapsing or was it just a case of an intense game and it flowing their way a little bit? Yeah, I think it was uh, obviously at quarter time, I think they kicked a goal right on the siren to make it four to two maybe, four to three, four I think. Three. Um, so that's just ebbs and flows, I think. Yeah, um, would have been nice if we had have held them out for that last 15 seconds or so, and they didn't kick that goal, and you go in a couple of goals up. But overall, it was uh, it was a tight, tough game. Yeah, I think that first quarter it was just a real arm wrestle. The stoppage team served you pretty well in the third quarter when you really needed to take very decisive in there. Yep. Yeah, it was a good challenge for them today. We thought uh, they're a pretty strong. Um, inside team, some strong bodies in there, so uh, there was a specific challenge for some of the players, especially in the third quarter. Um, and uh, you know, they performed really well. Scotty Selwood's just taking up that challenge week in, week out, 16 contested possessions today out of 23. It was a fair effort, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, he's, uh, he's really developing extremely well and uh, enjoying the role he's playing. Can you talk a bit about uh, Kerr in that third? Because his clearance efforts and then followed by that goal that he kicked really seemed... Yeah, um, well, he is uh, feeling pretty fresh and other than the last few minutes of the game, I think, when he had to come off. But um, he's in good shape physically. He's, uh, he's worked really hard when he was out uh, for those two or three weeks. Um, so, you know, that's, that's a bonus in that uh, he's not back to his absolute peak yet. But he's a lot closer than he was even at the start of this year, and uh, he's, you know, he's just showing his class in terms of how clean he can be and how much he can do in tight, tough games. Did he hop onto the ribs at the end? Yeah, I'm not sure if it was to his ribs or whether it winded him or what, but yeah, it was a solid hit. Um, but uh, no damage, I don't think. I think he'll pull up well. I'm sure his performance today. How did you rate? His yeah, performance? very good. Um, just missed probably one or two of the shots at goal that uh, would have really capped off another. For him. A lot of people see him as, as a successor to Kerr. Is that how you view it as well, a similar player? Um, yeah, I haven't really viewed it as that, but uh, but he's got certain attributes. You know, every player that plays in various positions, they bring different attributes, and he's got the attributes of being a good, strong, inside, hard, ball-winning player, but he's also got the pace and to be able to break away from that as well. Um, yeah, when he's been available, yeah. you know, but uh, but Curry's enjoyed uh, this season, especially and the pre-season, doing a lot of work with our young midfield. How taxing was the game in the heat, John? Did you um, any extra signs of fatigue? Uh, there was only a couple of players that had slight cramp late in the game. They handled it pretty well. Um, you know, in the end, we decided to rest Glassy. I think for a bit longer. Um, but uh, other than that, they're all tracking along pretty well. Were there a few concerns early in the game, like in just in that first 15 minutes? I know they were pressuring very hard, mm. but at the same time, just the disposal just didn't seem to be quite as effective as what it had been previously. Yeah, I think that, that is linked to pressure in the game. So that's why we were really pleased with... Uh, not, not rap, we think, it again shows areas for improvement for us, but uh, under that heat, it was a full-on hard, intense game. They were tackling very well. They took a lot of time and space off us, and, um, yeah, it was a challenge, but uh, the challenge was to dish up the same back to them and see who could outlast each other. Fourth on the table now, how does it feel? Feels like we've got two big games to go, and uh, in round 22, it doesn't mean anything. Uh, round 24 is where we want to make sure we're in a good position. The fact that you only have to win one more game now and you're guaranteed a top four slot, do you use that as a major character to your players? That's like a disincentive, isn't it? Just to win one. I know. Do you want to win both? Then? Absolutely. Can you taste it though that you're so close to that top four spot? No, no. Uh, Adelaide obviously had another. They've been playing pretty good footy. Had a big win today. Um, they're going to be no uh, no easy beats. And um, Brisbane in Brisbane, we've got two big challenges. That Is that how you talk it up to your players? Because a lot of people are saying, "Oh, it's almost a given now that West Coast will finish." Yeah. No. Nothing's ever a given. You've got to go out and earn it. 
you in a position to comment on Bo Waters' hit? On He's been reported by the umpire, so I don't think I'm allowed to comment on it. Can I ask your opinion? Yeah, as shoulder hits him in the head, maybe not trying to bump, but not trying to tackle either. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't comment, so. Jack, Jack Darling, pre-game, you just talked us through what happened there. Is that just resting him? Sore, not, no, not just resting him. He um, just pulled up a little bit sore at training yesterday. Just um, the view was, uh, he, I think he's getting a scan tomorrow. The view was if uh, if we were desperate to play him, we could have got him scanned this yesterday. Um, during the day and made the call about how we'd pull up today, but we decided there was, uh, that was too much risk. We were ha quite happy to rule him out yesterday um, and uh, very confident that, that he'll pull up well and be right to go next week. What's he having standing? A hip. Yep. And how did that occur? Was that not? No, nah, nah, just kicking the ball. I think he just felt something a little bit. Um, you know, as I said, we're if he had done it on Wednesday and we wanted to get him up for the weekend, we may have given him a bit more time and waited all that. But uh, we were able to rule him out at that stage with the players we had available to come in. John, losing Watson obviously affected their rotations, but at the same time, do you think that bump, they, they sort of lost their concentration just a little bit and allowed you guys to sort of, I know, take advantage of that? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I don't really know. Our, our view was that uh, you know, we wanted to challenge ourselves to play good, intense footy for longer periods of the game than we have the last couple of weeks and um, deal with what happens within the game but don't lose your focus. I'm just saying Shui and Heppel both in action today, I hadn't see, uh, I know they didn't play against each other, nah. team, but just the battle between two, right? Oh, Heppel's had an outstanding year. Um, so it's, it's not for me to make that call. They play different positions, different roles, and they're in different stages of their careers. So, yeah, but obviously we're wrapped with the way Luke performed again today for us with, I think, 11 clearances is, is pretty good effort. Just from an opposition coach's point of view, what are uh, Heppel's best attributes that oh, um, Well, he's a good decision maker, reads the game well, gets the ball in his hands and generally makes good decisions and uses it well. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thanks.